very much, Dr. Walensky. Very often, my colleagues on the medical team and I get asked, where are we in this outbreak? Where are we going and where might we be as we go into the coming winter? I thought it would be useful to very briefly put this into perspective of outbreaks in general. If I could have the first slide. When one thinks in terms of pandemics, there are multiple areas that one can go through. The first is the pandemic phase of the outbreak. Much of the world, and in some respects, including ourselves, are still in the pandemic phase. As I'll mention in a moment, there is a point where you get a decline in the acceleration and a turnaround of cases where, as I'll mention very shortly, that's where we are. But then there's the issue of control. What do we mean by control? Namely, there's a low level of infection that doesn't disrupt society in any meaningful way. For example, there are countries in Africa that used to be beset with an extraordinary amount of malaria, and now malaria is not absent, but it is very well controlled. And then there's elimination. We've eliminated, for example, polio from the United States. And except for an occasional breakthrough in unvaccinated groups, we've done the same with measles. Some countries in Africa that used to have malaria have eliminated it. And there's been only one disease that's a human disease that's been eradicated, and that is smallpox. So let's look at where we are right now with COVID-19. Next slide. As I mentioned, much of the world and until very recently and still we are in some aspects in the pandemic phase of the outbreak however most recently as shown on the chart by dr walensky next slide we are seeing now a decline in acceleration and a turnaround of cases where do we ultimately want to be as i mentioned it is going to be very difficult at least in the foreseeable future and maybe ever to truly eliminate this highly transmissible virus. And again, as I mentioned, we've only eradicated one. 